Doing the pivoting paper is very similar to doing the straight lines because we start with straight lines, as you can see. But then when we get down here, we are going to turn a corner. And we need to make sure when we turn the corner that our needle is down. We lift up the presser foot and turn. Now, one of the things that I uh, want to remind you of, I'm not going to do the whole thing just because you don't want to watch me uh, do straight lines. I'm going to come down to right about there. And I want to make sure that my needle's going to hit on the line, and it did. We want to make sure that we hit right on that point before we pivot. Um, and we're going to pivot with the needle down. That's one of the nice things about this machine is it does always stop with the needle down. So we don't have holes in the corner. And when you are sewing, you need to have your fingers at least about an inch away from the presser foot. I tend to use my hands in kind of um, a U-shaped like this. Um, I don't have anything to hold on to right here, so I'm going to put my finger a little bit ahead just to kind of to hold that a little bit. But don't grip onto your paper, push down on it real hard, because then it's not going to move. And if you notice, <clears throat> I, I just lifted the presser foot up. If I try to sew with the presser foot up, I'm going to get a little beep that says E1 on the screen, and that means I forgot to put the presser foot down. It's a nice feature of this machine. And so I'm going to put it back down, and we're going to be ready to go. Okay? So I'm trying to stitch on that line, just like we did on the straight lines, and I'm heading towards the corner. And again, you notice I'm using uh, the slowest speed because we are practicing. And I'm watching for that corner. I want to make sure that I get it right on the pivot mark. And I think I can do one more. There we go. Now, <clears throat> when I pivot, I'm going to lift my presser foot up and I'm going to turn my paper. You're going to be doing this on your bag. You're going to be turning the corners. Um, so we're going to go ahead and lift the presser foot up. I'm going to turn the thing and I should be lined up with the line again. Actually, I think I need one more stitch. And sometimes that's what happens. You'll notice that you're not quite as far as you need to be. So I'm going to do one more. Now I should be better. Okay, I can turn it and I'm lined up again. Don't ever just uh, pick the needle up and move it over. If we had thread in here, then you'd have a great big stitch on the end and a hole in the corner. And that wouldn't be very good. So what we're going to do now is just follow along this line. I'm going to stitch a little bit and then I'm going to quit. But you're going to start at the start point at the top and work from the outside all the way into the middle before you stop. So I'm going to just go a little bit farther this way. And the whole point is when you're pivoting, when you're pivoting is that you need to make sure that the needle is down before you lift the presser foot up and turn. Some machines don't stop needle down and when that happens you have to make sure that you put the needle down completely either by turning the hand wheel or hitting, hitting the needle down button to make sure that it stops there. So I'm going to finish right here and let you go on to sewing. Needle up, press your foot up, pull off to the left. We need to get into that habit every time. And when we're sewing, we're also going to clip our threads after we pull off to the left.